I've come today to Whittacombe in the Moor in Devon in the UK and I've come to visit the church here, this magnificent church. I've never been here before, just going to go and explore the graveyard. Beautiful picturesque spot out here on Dartmoor. One thing I've noticed out on the churches on Dartmoor is that a lot of the stones get covered with this black lichen and makes them almost impossible to decipher. It's probably a factor of the very damp air. A lot of rain here, a lot of mist comes down. There is one we can read. This is a, a war grave. Leading aircraft man A. Walter of the RAF, Royal Air Force, 1942, aged 27. And beneath there we have the famous words underneath that the going down of the sun and in the morning we will remember them. And those would have been put there by his relatives. Uh, they would have to pay extra for that inscription at the bottom of the stone. And here again you can see uh, the way the lichen has taken to these stones. Uh, they're very difficult to read. Uh, the one on the left is William Halliford, 1906, age 52 and the one on the right is Elizabeth Hannaford but the rest of the inscriptions are not easy to make out because of the lichen that seems to uh, be very common on these uh, Dartmoor graveyards. This one is Sir John Harvey. I've picked this one because it's clear to read. Joseph Mudge Tapper who died at Hedge Barton in 1900 and Susanna, his wife, and their children, Ellen and Fanny, who died in infancy, and daughter, Susan Ann Tapper, and son, John George Tapper. And at the bottom, there's one more Tapper, Fanny Ellen Tapper. Although I'm here to record some of the memorials, your eye is constantly taken to the wonderful Dartmoor landscape behind. Lovely ornate stone, looking at the flowers and engraved in the top of the stone, and the shape of the stone itself, and the lovely colour that the orange lichen has given it. This is to Emlyn Lavinia, Lavinia, the beloved wife of John Langdon of Lower Town, 1906. And next to it is a much plainer stone. Mary, the daughter of Elijah and Mary Langdon, who died at Dunstone in 1885. And this one, Again, beautifully coloured with this lichen. William Langdon, who died at Bittleford Farm in 1914, age 76. One here with an interesting inscription on the side. A little difficult to read, but I think I've made some of it out. This is Ernest Llewellyn Williams, Lieutenant in the Punjab Regiment. DCO, Assistant Command of the Burma Military Police at Mandalay. Born in Exeter, 1866, died, killed in action, 1893. So, a young man when he, when he, when he died.
This one is to Herbert Smurden. He died in 1884, 61 years old. Albert Wilcox of Huggerby, Princetown, 1868 to 1925. And beneath there we have his wife and then his son. His son uh, was less than a year old. We have the orange lichen lighting up this stone, but you can see there some quite intricate carving at the top. Uh, the Dove of Peace and a lot of flowers around and the inscription is to Mary Jane the wife of Richard Osborne. Sidney George Hambly, dear husband of Lily and he fell asleep at Vancouver 1953. Francis George Hamlin, who died in 52, aged 42, and they were of Dunstone Court in Widdicombe. But he's got his uh, coat of arms up here. There's also a lower section to this graveyard, which looks like the more modern interments. We'll have a quick walk through those. One here to a child, Max Cornish Radley Young and Rebecca Lucy Radley Young, born too early. Loved and lost March 2000. A very simple inscription on this, in loving memory, win. And a simple inscription on this one. A simple clean black stone with Elizabeth Richardson, wonderful mother and friend. This one is to Daphne Gladys Bedward Hurt, a lady out of Africa, born in Nairobi and died in Ashburton. And at the top there we have a a motto in Latin and a stag. And here's a wonderfully ornate memorial. All that carving of the flowers around the top there and the piers each side. It's in loving memory of James Lehman, 1906, aged 82. And of course the orange lichen is just lighting up that stone, really lovely. Another one in the smooth black stone. This is Bob Spears, 1945, 2008. And at the bottom, you just make it out behind the plant there, it says, I won't be long. This is to Pauline Minshull, and underneath it says Paul slash Polly, born 1935 in India, died in 2017 here in Widdicombe. We remember and smile. And then we have three hares, three dogs, three rabbits, saying live, love and laugh. Now the church is open, so we'll just go inside quickly. There are people in there, so I won't do a commentary while we're, while we're inside the church. I'm going to call that a day. The situation of this church and the village of Widdicombe in the Moor is just wonderful. Right in the heart of Dartmoor. 
and uh, I do recommend that you come here. It's a beautiful spot. It can get a little crowded in the peak season for tourists, but uh, even out of season it's still something very special. Anyway, I'm going to call that a day. So till the next time.